Jack, I have been thinking about you because I happen to know that you were a previous CIA. And one of my questions for you is, what is the reality of how easy or difficult you think it is in the heat of a moment when you're in the middle of an event like Kimberly Potter was to actually use a firearm instead of a taser? You know, that's going to be huge for why they're bringing in Kim Potter to testify. Because honestly, I think everybody talks about the training piece of this. Everybody's talking about what the policies are. But what happens when the rubber hits the road? And that's really where this is going to come down to it. Because I think everybody on this jury is looking at this circumstance. And I think few doubt her sadness, her sorrow, her, her, the, the brutality of what it meant for her personally as she was weeping uncontrollably, she's laying in the grass. I don't think that's the question. The question is how brutal is this at this unique moment where you actually have to pull and use your taser in the line of duty or pull your firearm in the line of duty and use it for the very first time in 26 years. And you put that in front of a jury and say, do you want to be in that place? You don't, you won't ask it that way, but you know what I mean, right? Do you really want to be in the place where you have to make that call? Now follow it up with Mike Johnson from last week, her supervisor who said, oh, by the way, she was justified in pulling her firearm and using it against Dante Wright. Contemplate that place.